Hello, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to stop and listen to God together. First, let's listen to the Bible. Acts chapter 2, verses 36 and 37. So let everyone in Israel know for certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, to be both Lord and Messiah. Peter's words pierced their hearts, and they said to him and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? In his Pentecost sermon, Peter had carefully explained to his Jewish audience that what had happened had been in fulfilment of God's plans. He'd been very respectful of their patriarch, King David, but in all his greatness, David had not risen from death, unlike Jesus the Messiah, whom they had had a hand in crucifying. Peter's challenge pierces them to the heart, and they want to know what to do in response. I wonder whether you can think of a moment when you were pierced to the heart. It's an agonising moment when you know that you cannot avoid the challenge that has been put to you. It reminds me of the time when King David was confronted by the prophet Nathan. David was feeling so pleased with himself. He believed his adultery with Bathsheba would go unnoticed and had now taken her as his wife, having successfully arranged the murder of her husband. Job done. The prophet Nathan bravely confronted David by telling him the story of a rich man who had cruelly prepared a meal for a visitor by killing not one of his many sheep, but the one much-loved little lamb that was the family pet of a very poor family. David seethed with anger and was determined that the rich man should die and make generous restitution to the abused family. Nathan said to David, You are the man. Ouch! David couldn't dodge the challenge. He had to admit that he had done wrong and come before God in repentance. It's not easy to be challenged, but when we are confronted by the truth, it's vital that we take action. Let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you for loving us so much that you confront us with the truth about ourselves. Amen. Thanks for listening and may God bless you. I hope you'll have a great day and will you join me for more Be Still and Know every day here on Premier Radio.